welcome everybody to another War Thunder video. My name is Maxwell and it's going to be from now on Thursdays I think because that works out best with my schedule. Uh, Thursdays are going to be the new day for War Thunder videos so every Thursday you can expect a War Thunder video. If you are confused about the schedule, um, well not confused but if you didn't even know that we had a schedule, uh, we do, it's on our channel's about page, so if you just head over to the channel, go to the about page, uh, that should let you know what happens on every single day, so that if there's a particular video that you're not really bothered about, like, like let's say you're not really bothered about our Let's Play series, uh, this time it's on Game Dev Tycoon, if you're not bothered about that, then you can just, if you see that that's on Mondays and Fridays, you can just skip those days if you're only, say, interested in the World of Tanks or the War Thunder content or both, then those days are there in the uh, channels about page letting you know when we do particular content. So onto this video, uh, coming in on A to try and get a quick capture off to get some free experience and credits, although there's a few people also having that idea. The theme of this video is going to be biplanes basically. What I normally do is if I've got a little biplane like this is I'll fly out in it first. Yes, free experience and credits. I'll fly it in the biplane first, and the idea of that is if I just make a derby mistake or get uh, gibbed right at the start or do something ridiculously stupid, I don't lose a decent plane doing so. I'll normally fly out in a lower tiered plane, except in the RAF. With the RAF, I tend to just fly out exclusively in the bow fighter first, and that is it. But with the Russians and some of the other people, I'll fly out in a little biplane first just to get the feel of the battle and uh, see what what is going on and then if it gets destroyed really early on it doesn't particularly matter but the problem is sometimes you have one of those games where you just don't really get destroyed and I think part of the reason for that is biplanes are just fairly awesome at dogfighting just with the turning circle and Especially the the, uh, the Russian Tier 1 biplane, the cannons that, well not the cannons, the machine guns that it has. The 7.7mm uh, I think it is, correct me if I'm wrong there, I probably am. Um, are fairly good, so a lot of the time I'll fly out in this Russian biplane and tend to not get destroyed. Uh, which, uh, which means I end up in an entire, like, Tier 5 battle in a bloody Tier 1 biplane, but still managed to rack up a few kills. So I'm just coming over our ground targets um, along the river here. I'm going to try and defend them against these two Americans. I'm going to try and get some hits on this F2A as I come in. Don't really seem to be able to hit him. Now the thing about this plane is you need to be quite close to use it to its maximum effect and I tend to fire when I'm way too far out. But luckily he either put himself into the drink or was critically damaged there and I managed to pick up the kill for that which is nice. Another thing, I, I responded to a few of your comments who said that I... Ooh, swordfish, let's go. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> who said that I should lower the DPI on my mouse to get a much smoother much smoother flight. Ooh, can I get the Spitfire? So what I've done is... Re basically, I'm asking you guys if you know some good settings. Because I've got... I've turned my mouse sensitivity down. It turned out that it was on 4,000 DPI. Uh, but I've turned that down to 2,500 DPI. It does seem to have helped a little bit. Oh, are they going to crash? No. It does seem to have helped a little bit, but not immensely. So I'm wondering if there is some, like, if there's a perfect sweet spot. Like, if you say it should be, like, 800 DPI. Oh, an assist that time. 800 DPI or 1,000 DPI or 1,200. If anybody knows some good mouse settings to get a nice smooth, a nice smooth targeting reticule on these planes, that would be uh, vastly appreciated. One kill and one assist by the looks of it there, for, there so far. Not doing too badly. Just above middle of the table. So yeah, that's uh, mouse settings. Trying to figure out a good one because uh, it's still been a little bit twitchy. And it's still a little bit more difficult to keep a gun on target than it really should be. Let's see if I can get this GU87. Pretty sure that's a dive bomber. We're going to see if I can stay above him and then as he climbs out of his dive, hopefully try and catch him. Yep, there he goes, dropping off his bombs, picking off some of our ground targets. He's got a Hurricane Mark II on him as well. Uh, but I'm going to see if I can stay above him like this and try and catch him on the up dive. Now he's in range there at 700, but I don't really want to fire yet because these guns 
super effective in close, so I think I'm going to wait just like that till I'm about five, 600 metres in. Hopefully this Hurricane Mark II doesn't pull into my line of fire. Nope, he's pulled off. Let's unload everything I've got. Boosh! Took him out. Wow, he exploded. So I managed to take out the uh, the dive bomber there. Luckily our Hurricane friend had to pull off because he was going a little bit too fast and that just left me free and open to be, to be uh, free with the guns and just unload everything I had into them. That was uh, two kills there. Not doing too badly. Now I want to get to safety and get out of this battle. Because the other thing about these things is they can't really survive a hit because they're literally made of balsa wood sticks and canvas stretched over. So if they take a couple of good hits, they are going down like a sack of bricks. Let's see if we can do something about this hurricane harassing. If I can get behind somebody, generally, unless I'm going much faster than them and overshoot by accident, uh, I can generally, you can generally stick behind someone with these biplanes. It looks like he's going really, really slowly. Not sure what his game is or why he's going so slowly. Maybe he's just accidentally lost all his speed. Come on. Should be able to take him out. Boom. Got you. No idea what he was thinking about going so slowly. Maybe he thought I was going to overshoot him. Uh, but I managed to cut engines and climb in time to lose enough speed. Get behind him and just take him out. So it looks like they are milling around our... Oh no, that's not our airfield. That's B. So it looks like we've pushed in pretty damn deep here. Uh, I thought the B airstrip was our A. But it's not. It's B. What am I talking about? Who knows? So <laughs> let's get out of that uh, that there and come in over B and see if we can deal with somebody. f 2 way here being chased by HG. Let's see if I can get some shots on him before he gets too far into his allied territory. Ooh, didn't get a hit there. He's pulling way up into the sky. Maybe he's trying to make a stall out. Don't know what he's thinking. I think people think when you're going straight up, it's difficult for you to get it. Well, it is a little bit more difficult to get a shot on them, but they don't realise that when they come out of that uh, climb, they're going to be going significantly slower than when they went into the climb. And now I'm enough distance away that I should be able to get some hits on them. Come on. Boom! Critical! Can we get him down though? Yeah, he's turned out of that climb. Oh, gun's reloading. Damn it! I'm going to have to hope that either my ally can pick him up or I'm going to have to tail him. Is he going down? Is he crashing? Or is he just getting low? Ah, he's getting low and getting fast. Which is a good tactic to get away from somebody because... Uh, going low generally you'll be going quite quick because you've lost all of your altitude and then that he's not really low enough though and that generally puts your targeting reticule into the ground making it difficult for people to stay on target so it looks like I've picked up a tail of this pea shooter so I'm just going to try and round on him as he's decided to switch targets like I said earlier this thing does not take a hit so you've got to be careful if you start getting a tail uh, you've pretty much got to break off and take evasive manoeuvres fairly soon if somebody gets a few good hits on you, you are toast. Uh, looks like I'm going significantly faster than this pea shooter. Oh, God, I've taken a hit. I'm going to have to be careful. He's on fire. There we go. Got him. Let's uh, jump on the back of this wildcat. Oh, nearly got hit by one of our allies there. And my wing's out. Damn it. When did that happen? Oh, God, both wings are out. Uh, the elevators still look like they are working though, so let's just try and stay on the back of somebody until, oh god, until I get destroyed. Come on, just a few more hits on this buffalo. Oh, and the engine's out as well. <laughs> right, this isn't going well. I've got a, I've got a tail here. Uh, oh, I'm quite close to C actually. Can I cheeky, cheekily land on C? No, no I can't. Unless you two's taking me out. <laughs> Well, I had, a, I had a pretty good run. Uh, let's jump in the lag three. So as you can see, decide to go in the um, in the biplane for the first part of the game. Just do oh five kills, one death, just to uh, scout the lay of the battle, and I end up sitting in it for most of the match. It looks like we've securely. Ooh, sorry about that. 
Looks like we've securely got A and securely got B and the fighting is all over C now so I'm going to try and make a beeline for C and get there as quickly as possible. Luckily the lag 3 has a good turn of speed as you can see almost up to 600 there. Uh, I'm doing pretty well, top of the table. Well, top of the table is more than pretty well. I'm basically doing better than anybody else on our team, points wise. I wouldn't say I'm the most skilled, I'm still not particularly great at this game. Uh, I have my moments, and I have some luck occasionally. Oh, let's get this P26 before he caps. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get him. No, it doesn't look like he's putting down. Ah, oh, there we go. Right, let's uh, rake him. Boom! Took him out. But didn't get a kill. I'm pressing right mouse button now to zoom in on him, but he's dead. Ah, looking at the chat log there, what happened is I hit his landing gear, which caused him to crash, which means the ground picked up the kill, which is ridiculous. If I've shot out his landing gear, which caused him to crash, surely that should be my kill. Well, enough of me whinging on. Let's uh, try and get somebody else dead to rights. This A20G. A lot of A20Gs kicking around recently, I've noticed. I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's a particularly good plane, a particularly popular plane, or if it's easy to get, or... Come on, couple... Ah, there we go. That's an assist, at least. I nearly crashed one of our allies there. I need to be more careful. I need to be a little bit more spatially aware of what's going on around me. This Blenheim shouldn't stand a chance. A few good cannon hits should be able to put him down. Should be. Oh, shit! Ah, sorry. I tunneled vision hard, I tunneled visioned hard there and didn't even see him coming in from the, from the top. Uh, that was totally my fault crashing into him. Oh, but we've won. Ah, well. So, sorry about that for crashing into that fella. Uh, oh, I didn't come first. That's a shame. But, anyway, came second. Two, uh, five kills, two deaths. One of them by suicide. So, not a bad game at all. You can see the power of biplanes. So, stick around, guys, because there's another replay coming right up. So our second battle is going to be a ground strike in the Alpine Meadows. And I'm pretty sure you can see the running theme here as I go out in the Tier 1 biplane. Uh, obviously I'm going to be stuck in this for most of the battle. But again, it's going to perform pretty damn well because it's this manoeuvrable little pocket rocket with, uh, with the unexpected cannon. So on to the game at hand, I'm going to be heading over to this right hand flank immediately is what I like to do. I don't want to get involved in the furball in the centre as that's where idiots go to die. So I like to head across to this right hand flank first of all and uh, see if I can try and pick somebody off who is maybe overextended and going for our ground forces on this far flank that they think will also be exposed. Uh, when spawning on this side, I always tend to go to the right-hand flank because the left-hand flank is the one that has that little flat area. Uh, so if you pull to the left, you can still get involved in that. But again, that is where a lot of idiots go to die. Decided not to go on that A20 there as I'd probably pick up this Hurricane Mark II as a tail. So I just wanted to fly past him and get on the Hurricane instead. To try and stay on this guy's tail, although we're both going ridiculously quickly. Uh, luckily, I will outturn a Hurricane Mark II all day long, and he is way overextended, as you can see. Oh, that's a critical hit! But yeah, he's way overextended, he's almost at our landing strip. Oh, I deselected him there, so I'm not able to hold right mouse button to keep an eye on where he is. And here we go, this should be it, dead to rights, come on, there we go, got him for the first kill. Uh, let's see if I can get on this Nimrod Mark II. Pretty sure that is a British reserve plane. So it looks like somebody's got the same plan as me, as fly out in a little biplane first to scout the battle, see how things are going. Oh, critical hit. Uh, and then once he's destroyed, he can jump in one of his decent planes. Oh God, I can't see to put this guy down. No, oh, and the air fire comes in, and I have to reload my machine guns. I bet the air fire steals my kill. Right, let's just stay above him. And then as soon... Oh, God, it's been set on fire. As soon as the gun's reloaded, I'm going to drop on and try and take him out. 
Oh, no. Damn it. So the A fire shot him down, and I didn't even get an assist for that, which is a little bit ridiculous, if you ask me. But oh well, that's just the way this game is, and we have to deal with it. Right, let's get out of here. Let's gain some altitude, uh, gain some speed. That was a little bit of a fruitless pursuit there. The AI picking up my kill there. That was my kill. I won't hear anything of it. Doesn't seem to be anybody else overextended or pushed too deep, so it looks like I'm going to have to gain some serious altitude and try and get on some of these bombers, maybe. There seems to be a lot of bombers and attackers high up. I don't want to lose too much speed doing so. I'm going to have to be careful about how I do it. Here we go, I can get this PBY who looks like he's diving a little bit. Well, he's not just diving a little bit, he's diving bloody straight down. Oh, there we go, he's levelled out. Right, let's see if we can get on his tail. I think I'm going faster than him, or at least he's turning into me. Oh god, I can't seem to hit him, it's been a little bit jerky. There we go, come on. Right, now remember these Catalinas have got big tail guns, so... Oh, but I've set him on fire. Come on, there we go, got him. Boom, shot his tail right off. The tail gunners on those Catalinas, they're not particularly amazing, but because I'm in a biplane made of wood and canvas, uh, they'll pretty much take me out fairly quickly. Well, that's a P-26 attacking our base. Pretty sure a P-26 won't have big enough bombs to be able to do any kind of significant damage to our base, but he's overextended, and I'm going to go and see if I can get on his tail and take him out. Here we go, a couple of hits. Staying low, and we've got a Hurricane Mark II ally coming to help us. Hopefully, he'll have to pull off, and I won't accidentally shoot him. Set him on fire and get their kill for three in a row. Not doing too badly at all. Uh, we go top of the table. Again, let's get some altitude, get some speed, and see if we can pick off another lone target. Gaining altitude and gaining speed quite nicely here. This seems to be a good tactic. Oh, what did I hit there? I think that was L. I don't know if that did anything. It sounded like I was jettisoning fuel, but in an arcade battle I can't see that having any kind of significance. Yeah, I hit L there. Right, guns are reloaded. This seems like a good tactic is get high, scout out for an enemy, dive on him and then get high again kind of puts you out of the reach of people. I wouldn't recommend climbing sharply in the middle of a dogfight though, as you saw in my last video. A couple of people tried that and it didn't go well for them. Where is this guy? God. He's above me. When did that happen? I'm sure he was uh, on the deck. What is it? It's a kitty hawk. Uh, right, let's try and get on him. There's a gladiator mark II also on him. Uh, yeah, this guy's got a good turn of speed. He is getting away. White Queen's going to be out of range in a second. Damn it. Right, let's see if I can come over the top of this little outcropping here and maybe try and head him off. No, he's well away. Right, let's get on this F2A instead. Try and stay on him as he seems like he has significantly less speed. Come on. Oh, God, I've taken a hit. Jesus, somebody's just taken my rudder control out by the looks of it. Uh, in a cheeky little pass, what was that? It was a hurricane. So that hurricane there has taken out my tail control. Oh, my God, this thing just... Wow, this thing does not handle without tail control. Oh, my God, look at that. That's not... Surely that's not realistic. Surely, well, I suppose I'll say, surely that's not realistic, and this is an arcade battle. Uh, I'm pretty sure in a historic battle or a full real battle I would have already face planted into the ground with no tail control like this. Now can I accidentally get my gun on target to take him out? <laughs> that is the question. Doesn't look like it. Can I climb or accelerate to get a bit straighter? No, I can't. Yeah, no. Let's bail out. 
the biplane is done for. Oh, do we go lag? No, I'm going to jump in the Ishak, actually. Um, let's see if I can defend our spawn. Because the Ishak has pretty much the same gun set up as the biplane that I was just using. Apart from they're a little bit more spaced out. I don't think they're all in the nose cone. I think some of them are on the wings. The only problem with this thing is it doesn't handle as nicely as the biplane. In fact, it just doesn't... It doesn't like holding altitude in a turn. Uh, which you'll probably see in a second as I try and turn fight with this hurricane. Come on. God, I just... There we go. Get a hit. Can I get a good hit? Oh, wow. Look at that. I'm just doing a normal turn and this thing is nose planting into the ground. No idea why it does that. Maybe the plane is historically known for nose planting, but wow, look at that. When I turn, it just decides to point its nose directly at the deck. Don't know if that's because of how fast I'm going. Oh, God, I'm getting shot. Or if it's because of how sharp. Oh, God, look at that. I have to stop turning to manually pull out of the turn every now and then. Oh, and then the Hurricane Mark II decides to suicide himself. Right, let's get on this Kitty Hawk instead. See if we can return some of the favour some of the damage that he's been piling out onto us. If I can get a good volley on him, got a good hit there. Hoping to maybe take out his engine or his pilot, but that's pretty much wishful thinking. Wings knackered now, so this thing's going to handle even worse. Oh, and that's it. That's the end of the battle. Let's just fire some lead into that guy for the heck of it. So, not a fantastic game, but I came second in our team. Uh, probably third overall or fourth overall, so not a bad game. Did pretty well in the biplane, and then the Ishak just decided to repeatedly try and nose plant me into the deck. So that was that game. A loss for us, unfortunately, but stick around because there's another one coming right up. So last battle of the video, I'm pretty sure, well, this is a ground strike on the Alpine Meadows, and I'm pretty sure the Alpine Meadows was the first map we were on, but this one is... It dusk and it is raining fairly heavily, so a little bit different on this one. And again, heading out in the biplane, still not 100% uh, sure of its pronunciation, a Shikakrababa something? Who knows? So I'm going out in the biplane uh, immediately. Gonna see if I can pick up some easy early kills. So yeah, it looks like that was L. I think somebody told me in the comments to hit L. So I hit L there, and it looks like it's jettisoning fuel. Uh, I'm not sure if that has any kind of significance in arcade battles. Probably not, as things don't really tend to be very realistic in this mode. So I'm heading over on the far right-hand flank, uh, spawning in a different area this time. So I've just decided that I'm going to head out over the flat area where all the idiots go to die. Because I feel like just going and being an idiot and dying and getting out of this plane fairly quickly. Oh, man. Blacked out pretty badly there. I need to invest in some heavy G tolerance for these guys. And I tend to pull ridiculous turns. Let's see if we can get onto this hurricane. Can't seem to get a good hit on him. There we go. He's getting very low. Is he going to face plant? Or is he just... Yeah, no, he's just trying to rocket some targets. So I'm going to see if I can stick on his tail, lose some speed, get a good critical on him, set him on fire. Come on, a couple more hits. Come on, why won't you die? There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that, Shouting. Good. Seeing that, set him on fire, critically hit him over and over again, and he just would not go down. But, uh, got him in the end. I'm going to have to reload the old machine guns now. Gain some serious altitude and some speed. And then pick off another lone target is the idea. Anybody closer than these guys? Because these guys are on the other side of this mountain range. Ah, this A20G. No, he's heading away from me. It's got to be a decent target somewhere. Alright, let's follow this lag 3 and try and get on the boar fort. Um, I'm going to try and keep my altitude, because as he gains altitude, he'll be losing a shit ton of speed. And that will help close the distance. 
I'll head over the top of this mountain range as he's heading left. I can try and cut him off. But it would appear that I've lost all of my engine speed up ability. My boost ability is gone. God, he's getting away pretty quickly. And he's dead. <laughs> right. Well, I probably wasn't going to be able to catch him anyway in a biplane. But this is a H6K. Will I be able to cut him off? Yeah, he's definitely dead. He's just stuck on the side of a mountain. Probably using his tail gunner to try and pick off some other people. Looks like that H6K disappeared. Ah, but there's a hurricane revealed himself in the valley. And uh, I fancy him. So I'm going to try and drop on him out of the skies. Like an avenging angel with a giant machine gun. So we take him out. Looks like he's picked up a lag three. Well, there's a lot of guys down here, actually. Um, although there's a lot of us, too. Cut the engines, because I don't want to come in with too much speed. And uh, not to be able to pull out of the dive. Got a good hit on him there. Let's see if we can pick up someone else. No, nope. everybody's going way too quickly. So let's spin us round. Try and use the right mouse button to keep us on target. Oh, not quite able to get that buffalo there. Almost crashed into him, in fact. Oh, it looks like somebody else picked up that hurricane that I got a hit on earlier. And I managed to pick up the assist, which is nice. Set this guy on fire. Let's see if we can hopefully burn to death. Oh, nope. Looks like the, uh, the HE got him there. Uh, picked up another assist for that one. And that <laughs> guy just decided to crash into a tree. Oh god, don't want to hit this mountain. Right, let's see. Let's see who the next target's going to be. Another hurricane. The enemy seems to have a few hurricanes in this battle. In fact, I've seen quite a few hurricanes over the last few battles. Uh, right, let's get on this Kai and try and rescue our lag three. No, I don't think I'm going to be able to catch him. Right, let's go for this hurricane mark two as he was shooting at me. And uh, I think I'm slightly more important than that lag three. Well, to me anyway. Ah, I thought he was coming straight towards me. That's why I unloaded pretty much my whole clip. But he's not. Uh, oh, God. Jinked to the right there accidentally. And that took my gun off target. Bit of a shame. Oh, God. Almost. There we go. Got him. Just got to be careful that I didn't crash into my ally there. As we got pretty close. Head up north. No, I don't really want to head up north. That is a bit of a bad fight to get involved in. I don't really want to go headlong into that. Yeah, look at that. There's too many of them. I don't really want to go headlong into that. I'm um, pretty much suicide. So let's go and see if we can pick off some of these bombers. We seem to be doing all the damage to our ground forces. As this one is a ground strike. Blenheim. Right, let's see if we can get onto this Blenheim. Coming into firing range now. Should be able to get on his tail pretty easily. Got one hit out of all of that. <laughs> Come on, let's just get a couple of good hits on him. There we go. I think his tail gunners are firing at me, so I'm going to have to be careful. Oh, and that's the machine guns out. Right, let's just try and stay on his tail. Gaining altitude, uh, but I'm closing the distance on him, so I'll wait till my machine guns have reloaded and then I'll dive upwards for him. Just a few seconds, dive upwards, and we're back. Come on, let's try and take him out. I'm under the magic 500 meters now. I can't seem to be able to get him, and his tail gun has given me what for? Let's do a barrel roll. Seem to work for Star Fox, it may work for us. I think I probably should have been closer. Have I set him on fire? Right, we're going to have to turn off target because his uh, tail gun has given me a lot of grief. Nope, I didn't set him on fire. Somebody else was set on fire. Guns are reloading. He's gaining a lot of altitude. I think I'm going a bit too fast now, actually. But should be able to take him out. There we go. When you're getting close with this thing, it just tears people to shreds. 
So kill number three and I'm still in the first biplane. Let's get these guns reloaded. Not doing fantastic though, about third or fourth on the table. Just take this one nice and relaxed. Pick out our target. See who we want to go on. I think we'll go on this D3. But he's basically heading towards me, so I want to almost look like I'm going to overshoot him and then pull in gently. I think I've done that a little bit too gently. Uh, and that should nicely put me on his tail. Oh no, he's decided to spin himself around. Oh, I've set him on fire though. So that's basically how you would get behind someone. And there we go. Put him down after setting them on fire. Is if they're coming straight towards you, you come not quite level with them, and then you pull a gentle right or left turn, and you can normally head, you can normally pull out of that on their tail. Look at me trying to give you guys advice when you clearly know more about this game than I do. What's this? A BB1 attacking our base. So we're winning at the moment, but I have seen teams who only have one ground force left come back from the jaws of defeat to pick up victory so I don't want to speak too soon it's another ball fort there doesn't look like there's anybody else on our base and this ball fort is coming right at me so I'm going to try and gain altitude quickly because I don't really need speed because he's closing the gap for me if I try and get up onto his altitude give him a good burst as he goes by and then spin around, end up on his tail. See if we can take him out. God, he's going fast. Jesus, where did he get all that speed from? And he's out of range, damn it. And I've jammed the gun, but that's not too bad since he's out of range and I needed to reload anyway. Right, and he's spinning himself around, so I want to come around gently to get on his tail and stay above him because he's probably going to want to climb and regain his altitude and then I should be able to just rip him to shreds, come on and he's retained a lot of his speed just want to be careful that his tail gunner doesn't break me come on, a few more hits, we've almost got this one won, oh damn it he gets away with his life damn you damn you damn you well well done to you sir for avoiding my machine guns so that's going to be it for this video today uh, four kills but zero deaths there which is why i enjoyed this one so thanks very much for watching guys remember if you've got any suggestions leave a comment in the comment section below leave us a like or favorite if you enjoyed this video and i will catch you next time